The father-son grand adventure continues. Today, we are searching for the very mysterious and very new honeybee. Let's do it, Seth. Hello, everybody. I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Father Son Minecraft Adventures. Last time, we managed to find Diamond at the very last second, which was insane. Like, it was, it was literally completely a, a utter surprise. Seth was very happy about it. It was the first time he found diamonds. But since the last time we played, you guys probably already know this, Minecraft got a snapshot update, which added a new creature to the world, the bee, which is awesome. So as I understand it, bees gather together around beehives, which spawn in trees and specifically in forests, I guess. I've never actually seen them in the wild, so I'm pretty excited to find them. And that is basically our goal, is to find some, some beehives. So obviously right now is probably not the best time to find bees around. I don't think that they spawn at night. So I'm reading some of the update notes here on, on the specifically on the bees. And yeah, they, they sleep at night. So it's almost daytime though, which is cool. Um, and then we can get an opportunity to, to find some more stuff. You know what we should do is we should make a bed, right? Like we need somewhere to sleep and we have not had anywhere to sleep. So I am going to smelt up some of this iron so that we can, uh, we can make some shears. We need shears so that we can shear a sheep, get some wool. And then I think beds are wool and, and wood, right? Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. So while that's cooking up, we're gonna let Seth play with the keyboard. Oh gosh, do it. You you go, kid, you do this. Look at him, he's jumping. He loves the keyboard so much. It's adorable. He is going to town on the keyboard right now. So uh, Seth pressed something that uh, made, the, made the keyboard unusable. That's, I don't know what he pressed. I don't know what you pressed. What did you press? I can't move. Huh. Okay. Excuse me a moment while I figure out what's happening. So, there is a button on the keyboard. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It will be upside down, but F11 has that little lock right there. Yeah, so he had to hit function, which is the FN key, and then F11 at the same time. And that combination together locked the keyboard. Fortunately, I figured it out, but uh, yeah, the keyboard was like completely dead. I, it was it was completely useless. I could not use it. So I think what I want to do here is make a uh, chest. So we'll just do this, right? Yep, okay. Now we can store some of our stuff because we've got a lot of stuff. So like, let's throw this gold in there. We don't want that diamond to get lost. Uh, Gunpowder, sure, this stuff. I don't need all this stone. We'll put our old tools in there. We don't need those guys. I will keep this iron pickaxe though. Okay, I think we've got everything that we need. We're in good order. Oh, I wanted to make shears. Like that was the whole purpose of me doing the, the cooking. How do you make shears? Cheers, that's how you make cheers. Okay, the real adventure begins. I'm sorry, Seth, you, you had to wait. But now, now we explore. And we're looking out for sheep too, obviously. We wanna find sheepies so that we can uh, shear them up and get some wool. And then the bees, the, the bees knees. Oh, oh, we've got ocean over here. Okay, Seth is adamantly looking at the, the keyboard. He really likes the keyboard. I'm gonna kill some pigs because I'm hungry. I would love some bacon. I'm sorry, piggies, but you guys are delicious. It's nothing personal. You just taste real good. Oh my gosh, there's lava. There's just a pit of lava in the middle of this field. It seems dangerous. I'm just, gonna, just gonna say that. Now I'm wondering though, there might be an issue with the fact that this world was created in version 1.14. I wonder if that means that bees won't exist. We might actually have to create a, a brand new world. Yeah, I don't know exactly how that works, but I, I guess we can just do some exploring for a little bit since we haven't really explored this world all that much. And then uh, and then we'll go from there, okay? You wanna talk in, you wanna play with the mic? Here, let's let's let Seth play with the mic. <laughs> you like the microphone, don't you? 
Yeah. How's it taste? Probably disgusting. Actually, now that I think about it, that thing is probably just filled with bacteria and gross stuff that you probably should not be putting in your mouth. I promise, I'm a good and responsible dad. Okay, so we found a savanna, which is, you know, it's a cool looking biome, but I don't think bees hang out in this kind of biome. Seems a little bit too warm. And then we've got a desert over there, but we need, we need a proper forest. He really likes the microphone. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it like just out, look, Seth, Seth, there you go. Yeah. All right, I'll make it a little bit lower. Ooh, I see some uh, greener forests up ahead. Will we find the bees? Oh, we found sheep. Okay, that's, I mean, that was part of our, part of our goal. Let's shear up some sheep. Look at the sheepies. Now they're naked sheepies. All right, got some wool. Now we can finally make a bed. I'm gonna give Seth Charlie so that he can play with the, the spider. He's nice and soft, he likes Charlie. Seth, I don't see any bees. This is a big old forest and I do not see any kind of hives or anything. Yeah, I think that we're gonna have to create a new world, Aladdin style. A whole new world. He dropped, he dropped Charlie again. There's Charlie, there's Charlie. There's Charlie, 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 Charlie. So just real quick, I wanted to check out this awesome like lava waterfall coming out of the side of this mountain. It just looked real cool. Anyway, let's start a new world and let's try to find some bees. Bees. Let's do creative mode so that we can kind of cheat our way. Okay, here we are, a whole new world. Now, we must find the bees. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh, <gasps> Seth. Seth right there, look at him. We found bees! We finally found the bees! There they are! Oh my gosh, they're so cool! Hey buddy! Hey little bee! Let's let's hang out. They they won't hurt you, right? Like they're 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 totally friendly. They're nice. They're nice bees. Look at them! Look at them! Look, Seth! Look at the bee! I mean, I oh he's is he gonna land on the flower? Oh he totally lands on the flower. That is awesome! <laughs> <laughs> that is so stinking cool. And they're so cute. Look at them. They got big old like anime looking eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Seth needed a little bit of a break. That's fine. Babies do what babies want. But we're going to continue our little experimentation with, with the bees. And then we'll probably bring Seth back towards the end. So apparently if you have a empty bottle, you can get honey from... Oh, that, okay, S sorry, sorry about that. Maybe it's because I wasn't in survival mode. I'm gonna try this in survival mode. Where is a hive? Let's see if we can get ourselves some honey from this guy. Ooh. I can't. I think I know what the problem is. Hold on. Okay, so this is a bee hive. This is a man-made structure. This is something that you build for bees to live in. And this is where you get honey from. That makes sense. So if I plop one of these guys down, I don't know if the bees will just start using it. Maybe? I don't know. Apparently, you can also breed uh, bees by uh, giving them flowers. They love flowers. Can I give one of you guys a tulip? Come here. Here. <gasps> there you go. Okay. Now you just need a friend. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I want to see a baby bee. Also, I want you guys to go inside of my... My hive. My, you guys are just following me around. Can you go in here? Can you? Are you going the? You're not going in the hive. Okay. All right. Wait. Oh! <gasps> a baby bee. He's so cute. Look at the little baby bee. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a good time. I'm. I'm digging the bees. This nest. This bee nest is loaded with honey. Can I? Oh, dang. Oh, what? Wait. Does that one have red eyes? Do they get mad if you take their their honey? Is What is wrong with your eyes? Why? Maybe this bee has allergies. He, he needs to take some Benadryl or something. I don't know. 
I don't know why that bee has red eyes. That's kind of scary. But I did just collect honey from a bee nest, which is pretty cool. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with bees that I haven't even really touched on. But apparently there's something kind of terrifying about bees. If you have a group of bees and they get attacked, they all attack together in sync. They become a powerful army of little stingers. And apparently you can use that to kill a wither. Little adorable anime bees can kill a wither. So I am going to try and create an arena of sorts for the bees to, to kill a wither. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I've just spawned a ton of bees in this kind of like little arena that I built. And now I'm going to spawn a, a wither and we'll see what happens. All right, do your thing, bees. You're the bee's knees. You know what to do. Although the wither is gonna blow up my arena, isn't he? He's gonna blow up my arena. And he's gonna blow up all my bee friends. Oh yeah, yeah. He just, he just blew up my bee friends. And where did he go? I don't even know where the wither went. Oh, <gasps> look at. Oh my gosh. The the bees are chasing the wither into the sky. I think the wither just ran away because it was scared of the bees. Okay, so clearly I did not think that through properly. So I'm gonna try this again. This time I'm going to build the arena out of bedrock. Pretty sure the wither can't blow up bedrock. I could be wrong, but either way, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Now I can't help but notice that the bees are getting hurt. I don't know why, but uh, I basically built a, a box of, of death. Um, either the bees or the wither are going to die, but I'm just going to keep spawning bees as the wither kills them so that there's basically an endless supply of bees. The wither got out. He got out. Get him bees. Get him. Attack. Oh my gosh. They're doing damage. All right. So the bees are going to chase away this wither. This was another failed experiment. Maybe the box needs to be bigger. I don't know what's happening. It's like the wither teleports as soon as he blows up. I feel like that's cheating. No teleporting, wither. I'm the only person here with superpowers, okay? Okay, slightly bigger box this time. Let's see if it works. Attack, beast. All right, here we go. Oh, he's in. He's still in. Okay, okay. So now I can spawn the bees and they're going to attack. I don't think it's working. <laughs> they're trying. They are they are putting up a, a tremendous fight. But they're 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 not they're not winning. The bees aren't winning. So I'm actually playing on a slightly different snapshot than the one that introduced the bees. This is a newer version, 19W35A. The, the B one was 19W34A, I guess. I suspect that that is the issue with, with this. I'm, I'm using a newer snapshot that kind of fixes the, the, the bees overpoweredness. Or I'm just doing it completely wrong. Either way, bees are awesome. Withers are kind of cool too, but they're they're much scarier and not as cuddly. Although, would you really want to cuddle with a bee? A dead wither is a good wither. Be free, my bee friends. Be free. So I've just gotten word that Seth is asleep. He enjoyed his adventure, but uh, he, he, you know, it was a lot of excitement for a little dude. But that was still really awesome. I, I think that the bees are going to be really, really cool to add to Minecraft. And apparently there's going to be other stuff that they're going to be adding as well. Not just bees. I'm excited to see what they add next. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.